This week, residents of Elliott Lake, Ontario, mark the one-year anniversary of the Algo Centre Mall collapse. Two people died when the roof of the shopping centre caved in last summer. As Jennifer Tryon reports, the trauma of that day is still fresh for those who lived through it. The site has been levelled. There's just the sign of what stood one year ago. What remains now is a scar, both in the middle of town and on the people of Elliott Lake. June 23, 2012, started out like any other day at the Algo Centre Mall. Seniors flooded the food court. Lori Canton started her shift managing a clothing store. Employees and customers arriving, parking on the roof. When just below loomed the damage. And I was at the cash and I heard a rumble. At 2.18 p.m., the welded steel beam above the lottery ticket booth gave way. The fear was so great it came from here up, like, you know, where you can't even breathe. What I'm also living through is the fact that I lost my job. That is so traumatic to me. Like many of the 200 other mall employees, she still has no job. Still, she knows she's lucky. 74-year-old Dolores Perizzolo and 37-year-old Lucy Elwin died in the collapse. Lucy's fiancé touched the hearts of Canadians as he pleaded with rescuers not to give up. A year later, he relives it too. I remember you just on the corner of this sidewalk. You know, we were all over here, you and your family over there. Yeah, no, I still think about it. Both families are suing the city of Elliott Lake and others for more than $2.2 million. Memories, right? There's no more nothing now. It's, everything's gone. Eh? And a $30 million class action lawsuit has been filed by citizens of Elliott Lake. What do you miss? <laughs> her touch, her feeling, her kindness, her um, just being hugged by her and stuff. It's very hard. Order all rise, and all the name of the beach, and shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Trying to provide comfort in answers, the province is halfway through a $15 million inquiry. It's very easy to get engaged in discovering why that happened, because it was needless. And we don't like needless death. What difference has a year made around here? Many people unemployed. Job prospects are limited in this retirement town without a new mall. When's it supposed to be finished? Oh, I don't know. The city is spending $1.4 million to prep the land for the new Pearson Centre Mall. Without a firm commitment, all of the retailers will be back. I'm only hoping that next year that the mall is going to be up and running. I can go and put in my resume and I will be one of the lucky ones and I will be hired. That's, that's the hope I have. A lot is riding on the new mall opening and the inquiry ending. That's when there, if there's gonna be satisfaction and, and the ability to move on, that's when it'll be. The hope is a new start, a new place to meet and come together again. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Elliott Lake, Ontario.